Step 8. Plan out and install microinverters. Download the Enphase Installer Toolkit app and also the Enphase Enlighten app and sign up for an account so you can scan your microinverters and monitor your system. Consult your plans to see how many panels will be linked together in this string. A string is a group of panels linked together by the same cable, known as trunk cable. Count how many microinverters will be in this particular string and cut the trunk cable so there are enough plugs for microinverters in this string of panels. Your final cable will feed into the Solodec to be wired, so cut it to a length that ensures there is plenty of wire to work inside the Solodec. The end of the trunk cable that does not go into the Solodec gets capped off with the provided terminator cap. To install the terminator cap, strip half of an inch off the end of the red and black wires, slide on the hex nut, and then insert the two wires into the terminator body. Make sure the wires are separated inside the terminator body. Push the wires all the way in and tighten the hex nut while holding the terminator body stationary so the two wires do not fall into the same channel. Next, use the trunk cable to map out how far apart each microinverter will be. Make sure microinverters can also plug into their respective solar panels. If you need to, you can place more than one microinverter under a panel to extend the trunk cable to the next row of microinverters. Microinverters can be put on the high or low rail to allow the trunk cable to reach. Just make sure they can be covered by the panels and that panel edges will not lay directly onto microinverters. Install microinverters by sliding the diamond screws into place and use a torque wrench to tighten them to 80 inch pounds. After microinverters are installed, use the Toolkit app to scan each microinverter and then the Enlighten app will be able to monitor production once the system is powered on. Project Solar. Easy DIY, better ROI.